So this problem is asking us to find the limit as x goes to negative 5 of this crazy irrational function. And what you're going to have to do is factor. you got to do quite a bit of factoring here. And so let's see. You have to be a w sort of a whiz at factoring to do this kind of thing. The top is going to factor into, uh, it's going to factor by grouping. So I can take an x squared out of it, and I'll be left with an x plus 5 out of the first two terms. And if I take a 2 out of it, I'll be left with also an x plus 5. Whoops. I'm running out of room. x plus 5. And then on the bottom, if I take an x out, I'll be left with x squared minus 25. And what does x squared minus 25 factor into? It's a difference of perfect squares, so how does that factor? X plus 5, X minus 5. All right, so this is the limit. I shouldn't write the equals there. I should write it. The limit as X goes to negative 5 of this top here factors. If I take an X plus 5 out, I'm left with X squared plus 2. And now what can I do? I can cancel out the x plus 5 and x plus 5, which means now I can plug in, now that I have that, which if you're trying to graph this, that basically means that that's a hole in the graph. There's a hole at negative 5. But now I can plug in. Now I can use direct substitution and plug in negative 5 into all of my x values here. So that would equal 25 plus 2 all over negative 5 times negative 10, which is 50. So that's 27 fiftieths. And that's your limit, because that's the hole that's in the graph. Negative 5, comma, 27 fiftieths is the hole that's in